Okay, um, so this one uh, is these complexes, and we're going to show the different geometric isomers. So um, let's draw the structures of the cis and trans isomers of diamine dichloroplatinum 2. Okay, so that's the compound that's pictured up there. One of these uh, uh, diamine dichloroplatinum compounds is actually very important for cancer treatment, the cis um, version of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw these geometric isomers. So um, remember, geometric isomers, they're going to have the same uh, atoms bonded to the same other atoms, but they'll be different in structure. And I'll show you uh, actual models of them. Uh, to help us out, okay? And both of them are going to be square planar. Hopefully you can see that because there's two um, ammonia ligands and two chloro ligands. So the central atom is going to be the platinum. Okay, so we can have So that's one isomer there. That's the cis isomer. Okay. And the trans isomer, like I said, the atoms are bonded to the same atoms, just in a different arrangement. Okay? So So this is the trans. So cis, they're on the same side. Trans, they're on opposite sides of each other. Okay. So cis, same side. Trans, opposite sides. Okay, so drawings don't always give you the best idea of what these things look like. So let's um, show the two models. So here you see the cis platinum, okay, the cis uh, compound, where you see the two ammonia groups on the same side and the two chloro groups on the same side. Okay, see the square planar arrangement too. Do you see that? Okay. And look at the trans, so hopefully you can see it looks quite different, right? The two ammonia groups on opposite sides of each other. I can hold it, right? Right? Like that. And the two chloro groups on opposite sides but of each other. But that's still planar though, right? Square still planar. square planar, yeah. But watch, can this thing convert into this thing without breaking bonds? Can I just, can't do anything to make it, watch. The way that I have to convert this to this, is to break this bond, break this bond, and reform this bond, reform this bond, okay? So if you have to break bonds and reform them, then the two compounds, or the two molecules aren't the same compound, okay? So they're isomers of each other, okay? In this case, they're geometric isomers, cis and trans, okay? Any questions on that? You wanna check them out? Yeah. We can do another one of these too.